thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some pictures of fish. You might be inspired by some of the images you see at your table. These can inspire the colors themselves you use, Kristen and I have on the screen. It can also inspire the shape of fish that you want to create, okay? Once you have an idea of the shape and the colors, you're going to put your bubble wrap down. And we're going to start layering our first layer of felt. So I'm going to select a couple colors for my first layer. One of the things that we've learned through this process is that you want to make sure you're using really small tufts. So make sure you're pulling that wool apart so you get really small tufts. I'm going to start by layering my pieces of wool horizontally. horizontally, small tufts. I'm thinking is going to be the body of my fish, okay? I'm going to work on creating the fins. Now I'm going to do my second layer. This layer I'm going to do vertical, vertical. So I started with horizontal, now I'm doing vertical. All right, so I have my vertical. Now I'm going to finish it off with another horizontal. It's gonna be my top layer, so you might wanna be really conscious of the colors you're using for this layer. See, I'm really pulling that felt apart to layer horizontally across, really make sure you're doing it horizontally. All right, now I'm ready for my grated plastic. I'm gonna place that on top, dip my fingers into the water and sprinkle. Going to dip my sponge into the water to get it wet lather it with my soap and now I'm going to give nice small massages to my fish so I'm using really small circular motions like the karate kid notice how it's lathering you're starting to see that soap lathering up but it's not like soggy with tons of water, okay? We don't want it too soggy. So now I'm going to peek underneath and see how it's going. Pretty good. I have some tufts here that didn't really get very wet, so I'm going to place my grid over them. You really want to make sure that your fish is small enough, Tristan eyes on the screen, small enough that it fits underneath this grid, okay? It really should not be bigger than your plastic gridded piece here. All right, so I have a nice layer going. Now I'm going to just get the tip of his nose real quick. And I'm going to reshape him. Reshape. So this is going to be the body of my fish right here. And then the, the tail of my fish right here. Okay, so I'm reshaping. And I'm going to put my gridded piece back on and massage it again. Small circular motions. All right, now I'm going to take it. I'm going to flip him over. Get his backside. So you can see that first layer now because it's on the other side, right? So you might find that you like that first layer even more than you like the top layer. Now I have massaged my fish pretty well. So I'm going to take them, put them on the white plastic, carrying them over to the water. I think I'm going to lay my magical carpet over by the reading rug, take my fish, have my fish vertical on the piece of plastic, and I'm going to roll my fish up like sushi. Would you eat shell? I would never eat shell. <laughs> I'm going to make him a lot stronger by doing this. Okay, so I rolled him up. 
and I'm gonna kind of roll them out like I'm rolling a coil with clay, okay? So just rolling back and forth, massaging them. This is gonna help those fibers stick together more. It's also gonna help them dry out more, okay? All right, open it up. You're gonna notice this actually made them get a lot wider. So to fix them, I'm gonna place them horizontally on my piece of plastic. Horizontally. Roll them up again. So I put them the opposite direction. Roll them out again like a coil. Open it up again. And if he's still feeling pretty wet, I can do it again. So notice how much smaller he is now. Shell's a lot smaller than he was originally. That's what's going to happen because those fibers are getting becoming one, okay? They're getting kind of knotted together. So the more you do this, the smaller it's going to be, but the better it's going to hold together, okay? The more like felt it's going to become. So I'm going to do it one more time, and I think it'll be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm done rolling out Shell. He looks adorable. He feels like one piece of fabric now. I'm going to take him, take this supplies. I can put it back while I'm taking him over here. 